All right, welcome to week 10 CIV3 SD1. Almost there. I think uh, one more topic to go. Stiffness matter next week and we're done with the subjects. So we're almost there uh, all long way through. Sorry about that. Four minutes late. Uh, I just came from the graduation ceremony. Uh, I like to support the students who have done hard work like you and not going on the last day would be disappointed. It's good to see the students are graduating. Uh, probably hopefully after one and a half years or something like that, you will be graduated. So now uh, yeah, last week, a few questions come and I'm not able to figure it out uh, what is happening there. So let me share the screen for the students online and uh, what is happening? Yep, let's share the screen. All right, now last week there is a questions that that we are struggling to answer it. What was that? Uh, let me find that uh, details. Look like there is a geotech lab is working. So a few students did not show up. Anyway, so do you remember this one last week, right? That we have six supports because these six and moments are also part of this moment distribution matter. You remember last week say, okay, you have six support, 60 kilonewton coming here, two meters here, two meters here. We have equation in in our tables that we blindly follow. No one knows where this direction coming from, what this value coming from, and, and it was not pleasant to just blindly use it, right? Because we don't know the behind story. So I just um, I just did some work on that one. Uh, let's go back again. OK, so that's the, the question is. Question is. If I have a fixed support at A, fixed support at B, 60 kilonewton coming in the middle, what would be the moment and direction? That is the questions, right? This is the fix and moment. And we have table. We have tables that is so you can find it in the lecture notes, and they have given you direction, equation, and you just take it and substitute the value, and everyone happy. But that was not the happy end because mm, it was not making sense. So we use force method here. You know the force methods that we teach that we'll use to find the reaction forces in any determinant structure. This is indeterminate structures. You can't solve with the equilibrium equation. So what we done, let's say degree of indeterminacy, you you know the story. Six take away three, then axial forces are not there, four take away two, your degree of indeterminacy is two, right? The structure is indeterminate by degree of indeterminacy two. Then we say, okay, we change it to the spin support, roller supports, and there was a rotation, right? You remember that, right? You make it to be done. You do a primary structure. Primary structures are determinant structures. And then you find theta A and theta B. Theta B, theta A. Uh, look, uh, the direction that I have here, I don't know the direction initially, okay? By the way, this one I just put it random. You can put it randomly. We don't know. So if you get negative answer, we change it. You know the story, right? So don't worry about the direction. I just assume. OK, based on that assumptions, we get this theta A negative because you can see this theta A going clockwise negative and take clockwise positive theta A and theta B. And that's the equation to calculate the theta A and theta B. OK, now you might say where this is coming from. I think you can do the virtual work method and there is also two, three page of work. OK, if you want to, you know how to find the displacement and, and rotation now by virtual work method. You can put the virtual moment and then blah, blah, blah. You know that. So you find theta and theta B from the, your primary structures. Then you say, OK, you apply unit moment and you find the FAA, which is flexibility coefficient. You know that, right? When you apply one, then you find FAA, which is opposite, by the way, to that theta A, and you find that FAA, FBA for this one. Then you do same signals for one here, and you find F, A, B, and F, B. Don't worry if it doesn't make sense too much to you. But that is just um, overall procedure. Then we use compatibility equations. Compatibility equations here. And then we find 
we find theta a and um, we find this, uh, uh, you know, this from the compatibility equations, we can able to find this ma and mb. Like this, if you if you know, if you can first find theta a and then from that theta a, you can find ma and mb. That is just the procedures that and from that ma and mb, you can find this one. What I found, they are both positive. MA and MB, you can see this 30 should go, this 30 just written here. So I found that MA and MB equal to 30, 30, meaning that my direction which I assume is correct. Now again, the questions come, so this is this is good. Now the questions get complicated here. Complicated here, meaning I think this one is, is, is not complicated, meaning that if you have if you have a structures like this, and if you have a 50 kilo Newton meters, then I keep it the same directions. Right? There's another question comes saying that instead of 60 kilo Newtons, let's say what about 50 kilo Newton meters more, and then this direction goes this way or this way, and equilibrium and so on. There was a question. So in that case, we do again. We draw primary structures. 50 kilo newton. This is the, your deflection curve because of 50 kilo newton. You find theta a, you find theta b. Then you apply the unit moment. You find FFA, FBA. Then you apply unit moment here. You again find FFA, FBB. And you do compatibility and look at here the answers. The answers would be this negative. One is negative. What does it mean that my assumed direction, which is this way, it was not right. So I need to change this one to this way, which is 12.5, and this one would be 12.5. So that's what in the tables you remember that, right? Everyone remember that question, right? That we have this, why this one going this way, this one coming here, why going this way? There is a whole story. So we have to remember that. For the exams and stuff, or would that be? So you have it in table. You have a table that will give one to you in the exam. This table. This table. This table will be with you in the exam. But the question is coming. Mm, I don't want to just follow blindly where these coming from, where these coming from. That's what the questions come last week, right? Saying, how why this one going this way? Why not this way? Why this one coming this way? Why not this way? That's what the questions. So that we can derive that using the force method. It's just a reaction. It's basically the reaction force is due to the loading. That's what it is. Okay. All right. So that's the last week one. Now we're going to work on the fix and moments. Let me week ten. Workshop and uh, let's uh... oh by the way before we start I think we need to do the student feedback survey as I almost forget can you please fill out this um, student feedback survey I'll give you five minutes this one, if you go to your LMS page now, and if you can just spend two minutes for me, it will be anonymous. I don't know who put what. And if you just give me the your feedback on the subject teaching, that will help me uh, to improve the subjects. Then what, what's for you? Yeah, that's a good question, right? I'm teaching SD2 and SD3 next semester and following next year. If you give me your feedback, what is working, what is not working, um, I can I can improve the subjects. One student asked me in the past, saying, my salary is going to increase. If I fill out this one, my salary will not increase. My salary will stay as it is. Just this is for me to see whether it's working or not. You see what I mean? Because I don't know. I'm just teaching, teaching, and it, I don't know which one is working and which one is not working. So I just want to see what is feel like when you are sitting there and what attending. So it's completely anonymous. I don't know who put what. 
and I'm not sure whether you fill out or not. So I just give you five minutes. If you like, just go here and just put your pipette. You know, if you go on your LMS, my subjects, and you can find maybe this kind of button on the right side, your evolution, and then just fill out that for five minutes if you can. Did you find it, anyone? You fill out, Rana. You asked me a lot of questions, so <laughs> you must fill out. Don't worry. While you're filling it out, I prepare my example. This is all good now. We're going to use the Excel as well. Probably this example in the workshop would not be good enough. So we will take the example from our lecture notes to see if we can get the Excel.
All right. So I hope you fill it out and um, thank you for filling out those uh, who give a comment. Now, uh, the question is determining the moment at the support A, we need to find the reaction moment. At B, we need to find the reactions, uh, vertical reaction here of the B with a stiffness EI. So you have two EI, four EI. For each span, indicate in the figure, draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Okay. So this is the indeterminate structures. What is the static degree of indeterminacy? Static degree of indeterminacy, force methods. Now, how many reaction force here? Three. How many here? How many here? How many total? Five. How many equilibrium equations? Three. Five take over three equal to two static equilibrium, which is used in the force matrix. Just give you an and, and reveal. Now, kinematic degree of indeterminacy. One, yes, that is that is here, theta B. We generally take it two because we have theta C as well because it's not a fixed support. But we we don't take into account theta C because you we know the moment here is zero. There is no any end moment, so we don't need to solve theta C by the way. So that kinematic degree of indeterminacy, we don't need to take into account. You understand? If someone asks you just a pure question, what is kinematic degree of indeterminacy? We say two as a first. But when we start solving it, we just reduce our work by saying that, hmm, because when you have two kinematic degree of indeterminacy, meaning you have two unknown and you need to solve. But because that two unknowns will going to give us the, the end moments. But because we know the end moments here, which is zero, this is a roller support. So we don't need to find the end moments here. So for that theta C, we say we don't need to worry about, right? Because it will just not going to helpful on our calculation. So in that case, we have kinematic degree of indeterminacy equal to one, which is theta B. Theta A equal to zero, theta B is unknown. This is a fixed end moment tables that we're going to use it for your for your reference that is in our 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 slope deflection methods and that's the stiffness one so how do we start the start point is what we do we make all the internal support fix you know that right so there are a couple of steps that we follow if you if you know from the lectures from the um, from yesterday that how do we solve first we're going to find the stiffness what is stiffness Yesterday I talked with Dill in the lectures that Dill said I did not heard about stiffness, but I think in the lectures we introduced some something stiffness. What's what's if someone say that 10 newton per meter stiffness and someone says that 5 newton per meter stiffness for the beam? Let's say I have a beam here. This beam is 5 10 new, uh, 5 newton per meter stiff. This beam is let's say 10 newton per meter stiff. What does it what does it tell you? You know what I mean? So what is stiffness? Hard to bend. Yes, so stiffness, how stiff it is, right? So if I take a spring and then if I load it with some force, then this displacement stiffness would be P over delta. That is represented by capital K. That is the stiffness, load displacement. The more the stiff, it's very hard to, hard to, hard to, hard to displace, okay? So stiffness, we have two equations. One is this one, K is equal to 4 EI on L, and another one is K equal to 3 EI on L. When the both supports are fixed, or far end is fixed, this is far end, this is near end. When far end is fixed, we need to use that equations. When your far end, when your far end is a roller or pin, then you use these equations, okay? This is far end. And this is near end, right? All right. So now in our examples, if I have a AB where B is a fix because it's the internal supports, I can use this first one that KAB is equal to four EI on L AB. Four EI value is how much? Two EI. So let's plug it. Two EI. Length of AB is four meters. So this cancels. We have two EI, the stiffness of 
KAB. Now KBC. Now in KBC, this C far end is roller. So in that case, we can use the second equations, which is 3EI on LBC. 3EI uh, is 4EI. On length of BC would be 4 meters. So 3EI. Look at the stiffness. 2EI for AB, 3EI is AB. Remember that AB 3. So which one is more stronger, AB or BC? BC, right? So if I have a, let's say you want to design the platform. Let's say you are an engineer and you got the job in Tesla in US and say that, hmm, Elon Musk said, okay, you are structured here for Laptop University. I have a 10 Tesla and I have five Tesla. And you have two beams. Where do I park 10 Tesla and where do I park five Tesla? So you quickly go and do the stiffness inverse and say that, hmm, here you can park Tesla because there is this, this beam is strong. It will not gonna deflect. Okay, that's a, that's a stiffness. On. And let's look at that. Stiffness is depend on your EI value and depend on the length. Length is same, your EI is higher, so that of course this will be more stronger okay so it's just you don't need to just blindly follow you just need to feel that what is happening so stiffness everyone okay yes please go ahead is a four year and then later on if they change it or they will continue working on four year that's what you so okay let's 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 keep rolling you're smart enough so so that's <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. OK, that's OK. All right. So we will keep rolling and see if they change it back to 3i or not. Yeah, so that is just a typo. Yeah, that's good. All right, no problem. Now, uh, second one, we find the distribution factor. Now, let me let me get this beam here. Otherwise, we will continue keep going up and down. So let me get this. So member AB, distribution factor of AB, A is fixed. What is the distribution factors for, for A or distribution factor AB? Fixed support. Why zero? No, it's not, it's not like that. It says then you need to read it. Why? When, when you have a fix support. Yeah, it's, it's a very rigid. So what is the equation? Look, look, what is the equation for distribution factor? Is the stiffness of the member where you want to find over the total stiffness at the joint? Right? That's the definition of the distribution factors that you want to find the distribution factor of AB divided by the total distribution at that particular joint. Now, distribution factor of member AB is KAB, stiffness, divided by joint A, infinity. It's fully rigid, it's strong. Some number divided by infinity is zero. Does it make sense? That's how it's, we just go by definition. So you said zero because A is fixed. Right? Now, distribution factor of BA equal to KBA over KBA plus KBC. Are you with me? Because I want to have now joint B. And at joint B, you have uh, KBA over KBA plus KBC. Now, stiffness of KBA we found here, which is 2EI over 2EI and KBC is 3EI. 
So EI EI cancels two on five. So that will give you 0.4. Distribution factor of 0.4. So what is what does it mean? Distribution factor of 0.4. What does it mean that? This guy here, if I have if I take the joint, because this joint will have two members connected AB and B. So if we have a moment at B, 40% of moment will go here AB. Do you remember the example of Tesla? Four cars and all. So this guy AB will not going to take much. If I have a moment here, this guy AB will not going to tell it's going to take only 0.4, 40% of that moment. This guy going to take 60%. You can see that, that from our calculation. So as I mentioned, this one is stronger. So distribution factor of uh, B, uh, BC equal to KBC on KBA plus KBC is equal to distribution factor of K, uh, stiffness of KBC. We have 3 EI on 2 EI plus 5 EI and then you have EI EI cancels. Three. Three on five point six. I stop here and I request you to check. At joint B, you have point four and point six one always. At joint number B, your distribution factor always add up one. If it does not add up, go back and check the calculation. Okay, this is your key check up for you that that how this distribution factor must add up one at that particular joint. All right. Now distribution factor at CB equal to KCB over this um, uh, KCB plus roller. There is no stiffness. This joint B is a roller. So roller is not stiff. It does not resist anything. Therefore zero. So KCB over KCB equal to one. Same stiffness divided by same stiffness one. So the take away message, fixed support, zero distribution factors, roller or pin, you have a distribution factor one. Any internal supports, you do the calculations and you must check that all the internal supports will add up one distribution factors. Any question in finding the stiffness distribution factors? All good. All right, let's continue. Now the next third steps, we're going to do the fix and moments. I think you've done the fix and moments previously. Let's get this um, figure back to here. Here and let's get this. This table down. All right, now all the internal supports are fixed. OK, all the internal supports will be fixed. So uh, fix and moments. At AB equal to because if I draw the AB. I would get 60 kilonewton here. Two meters and two meters, which is four meters here. And this will be fixed end moments of AB. And this is fixed end moments of BA. Because this is A and B. Right. So clockwise is positive. So this is anti clockwise. What would be the equations? PL on 8 minus. Minus 60 kilonewtons. Land 4 meters over 8. Would give me minus 30 kilonewton meters. Right, and then similarly, fixed end moments of BA, which is clockwise, 
which is PL on 8, 60 times 4 meters on 8, which is positive 30 kilonewton meters. Right. So we find fixed end moments and we find uh, 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 due to this uh, due to the 60 kilonewtons. Second one, B and the roller pin, we can't touch it that C. And we have UDL load of 20 kilonewton per meters with the fixed end moments of BC. So where is the similar figure here? WL square over 8. So fixed end moments of BC minus W because it's anti-clockwise minus 20 kilonewton per meters. Length is 4 meters. 4 meters square over 8. It gives me minus 40 kilonewton meters. And you know the direction and all sort of things, right? If you don't know, you do force matter, and you can just assume that you don't know this one. Your reaction, you will find 24 roller supports, and you do all the procedures to to find the uh, reaction force. And that is the uh, that's I just give you in the in the first of when we start the lectures. Now, now the difference between this method and slope deflection method, they are both part of the displacement method is moment distribution matter and slope deflection matters. Both are part of this one. On the previous slope deflection matter, we used to find theta A, theta B, we plug back and we find the moment and moments. In moment distribution matter, it's very powerful matter that will bypass that theta calculations and it will straight away give you the end moments. 1930, Hardy Cross, Professor Hardy Cross found these matters. Up to 1980, all the buildings was designed using these ones. And the st stiffness matter step in in 1980. Computers start using. So after 1980s, we start using computers for the for the structure analysis. That next week we will tell you how to how to solve that um, using the computers. So now we need to build the tables. Now here you will not get exit in these examples. You will get exit solutions because I know this example. But you remember last yesterday lectures. It was not exact. There was an error which we ignored. Less than 1% error. You remember that? So it's not exact solution. Slope deflection meters give you exact solutions, but um, these methods will not give you exact solutions, right? It's a very minor errors that you are end up with all the time. So how you build the tables? Let's write the, uh, okay. Let's bring that figures down so we know what we are talking about. All right, here is the figure. All right, so let's do this. Now the thing is, we have joints. Always start with joints. How many joints? A, B, e, and C. If you are working in your in your notebooks, can I borrow it? If you <laughs> if you start with the papers, always start with the start of the papers. If you start here, you end up with running out the space. You need to transfer it here in the exam store. OK, so when you start the tables, always start with your new 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 paper. If you are working in these smart devices, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, but in the exams, you might not have this smart device. Then you need to start with your full top of the page. You might need some space there. Right now, so you always start with joints. Then from the joints, you draw the line, vertical line. From the joints, draw the vertical lines. Then next one, we write members. AB from the, what is it, right side, AB, then BA, BC, and CB. I hope you don't have any issue to write those names. You have joint A, AB, AB. Joint B, BA, BA. Joint B, BC, BC. 
and joint C, CB. Right? Look at the figures and you can frame it. Next. You write distribution factors. After distribution factors, we need to draw a line, I think, yep. After distribution factors, draw the horizontal line. Right, we can just go back on our previous calculations and somewhere we said distribution factor of AB is zero, BA is 0.4. AB is 0, just put it in the square. BA is 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 1. When you write those, keep in mind, join B, make sure when you copy it down, sometimes I also make mistakes that I might copy 0 0.4 or something different. You know, I misread it. So make sure when you write it, make sure it will add 1. Make sure it is 0 when you speak support. Make sure it is pin or rollers when it's one. So just just be active what you are writing. OK, it's just not blindly copy from the previous. You might end up with this one. Just just have a feeling what is happening throughout the examples. OK. Now that's done. Then the next step we're going to write fix and moments. And for fix and moments at AB, I think we done here minus 30 BA positive 30. Minus 30 positive 30 and BC minus 40. We don't need to write unit. And let's say for completeness, we just put the zero. Tell me zero, okay? There is no fixed end moments here. CB, we just put zero for our cal mathematical calculus. So far, so good. Any questions? Right. It's just a simple. Problem. If you do it a couple of times, you will get it. Okay. It's not so so difficult. Fix and moments done. Then we do then we do balance one. What is balance? The balance is, look at here. Look at these fixed end moments. 30 take away 40, minus 10 extra moment at joint B. Do you agree with me? Because look at the joint B. We always start with internal state. Look at the joint B only. You have 30, which is positive, which is going clockwise. You have 40, minus 40, which is anti-clockwise, minus 40. If I add them together, I have extra minus 10 kilo Newton meters, which I don't want because you look at the original figure. There is no any moment. There is zero moment. But in my calculation, there is an extra minus 10. Do you understand that is called unbalanced moment? That is the moment distribution matter. Name is moment distribution matter. So we need to distribute unbalanced moment, continue the process until we get very small, uh, uh, very small balanced moments. Okay. So I have extra negative 10 kilo newtons. To make it negative 10 to zero, I need positive 10. I have positive 10. Then I have positive 10 here. But this guy, AB is telling me that I can take only 0.4. I can take 40% only. I can't take more than 40%. Do you understand from distribution factors that is written here? That if you have an extra moment, I can take only 10 times 0.4. I can take positive 4. OK, so I can write here. How does it coming mathematically? So uh, 30 take away 40, give me minus 10. Then you change it to the positive 10 to make it 0. And times by distribution factor 0.4, it's give me 4. And here again, positive 10 times by 0 0.6, it gives me 6. Now, if you sum them all four, 30 minus 40 plus 4 plus 6, you will give a 0. Right? So that is called balance. We continue this process over and over again until we get the very small error. 
and I will tell you how to find those errors. Now, in the old days, 1950s and 1940s, they stopped it at two inter -assignments. Two inter -assignments, first one and second one. That's it. And they said, uh, we have errors, but we live with errors. No problems, okay? So, but now we have Excel and all. We can, we can use it. And no one used, by the way, no one used these methods. Nowadays in this year, you might ask, why do you teach us if no one's using it? Well, that is very famous that we need to learn the history to not repeat the history. So if you don't know history, you might think, oh, that is new. I, let, me, let me do it, but it's already done. So, uh, so no one's using it, but it's very fundamental. And therefore, we still, we still teach it. There is a foundation of those displacement matters. So balance one, I think, by the way, you need to write just a little bit four and six, a little bit down here. Four and six in front of that. And this one minus 30 times zero, zero, zero times one is zero. OK, and then after balance one, you need to draw the line. And say that carry over. One. And then carry over from here to here. Is. Carry over, carry over factor is 0.5 or 0. What is happening carry over? If I have a fix here, I hold it fixed. And if I apply, let's say, 10 kilonewton meters uh, moment here, then it will become half here when it's fixed. Then you have pin and roller, it becomes 0 because I let it go. So the carry over from B to A, carry over from B to A is 0.5. Because whatever the moment here, it will become half here. And carry over from A to B is 0.5 because you have B is fixed. Carry over from B to C is 0 because this is a roller. From C to B is 0.5. Right? So carry over from here is 2, 0, 0. So it's just multiplying by 0. 0.5. Carry over from here, 0 because it's multiplied by zero, it is roller, and that is zero. Okay, and then you you never stop at carry over. You always end up with the balance, okay? You not stop that one at the, at the carry over, and you write balance. Balance two. And then you will have zero, 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 zero. If you are lucky, you will get all zero and then you can stop. Scroll up a little bit. Yes. I just want to see that. Yeah, get your, you can check. If I have moment at B, how much moment going to go at A if the A is fixed? If I have 10, it goes 5. If I have 4, become 2. If I have 3, become 1.5. If I have moment at A, B is internal fixed. How much moment going to carry over? If I have 10 here, it will become 5, 4, become 2. So that point B is technically fixed. Is that what we're saying? All internal supports are fixed. We clamp it at the start. Yeah. And we don't touch the end supports. All right. So we done this one. Finish it up. Sum the moment. Minus 30 plus 2 minus 28. 30 plus 4, 34. Minus 34 and 0. What I done? Minus 30 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 minus 28. 30 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 minus, plus 0 34 minus 24 6 0 0 minus 34 all 0. I stop here and make a check. My table is correct or not. They give me the hint here. And if this number is not same and opposite, then you might end up with the different one. Yes. Yes. Okay, a couple of students who want to use the computers in here. Is it okay if I sit in the corner? They're not going to disturb. Yeah. Don't make noise. Then okay. <laughs> All right. So, so this 34 and minus 34. You got it. So if you screwed up something, carry over is not there. Balance is not there. You do plus and minus. You know, you might 
you might end up with some some different numbers. Then you end up with different numbers and you know that there is something wrong. Go back and check. OK. Now. We use Excel. For your assignments or, or for, for to do the check. OK, uh, I will show you how to use the Excel and how to build it in the Excel. OK, it's very easy. Uh, students may ask, can I copy it from the Excel? Please don't do it because in your exams you don't have Excel. This Excel is just for you to make a check when you do the long calculations. All right, so if everyone wants to work with me, please open the Excel. All right, in the Excels, we're just going to follow exactly the same thing that we have it here. Let me copy it here. All right. What we do first one. First we write say don't worry about the joints. We'll start with members. Let's write members. We have member AB. Just just look at here. Member AB. Then we have one gap. So leave one gap and let's say member BA and member BC. And there is a gap. Let's leave one gap and let's write CB. And let's put it this one in the center. It looks neat. <laughs> if you don't leave gap, that's okay. It's up to you. Yeah, that looks squashy a little bit. <laughs> but that's okay. If you don't want to leave gap, don't leave a gap. All right. So once you once you put those members, you can write next one is distribution factors. Let's write distribution factors DF and that will have a 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 1. And let's put this one in the color because we're going to use uh, we're going to use them uh, like we, we, we need this value for every step. So let's Let's put it that in the highlighted. They are very important for us. Right. Now, after that, just look at our figures, OK? Nothing new we are doing. We have a, after distribution factors, we have line. So let's draw the line. Let's draw the line here. Let's put the line here as well. Vertical line. Here. And we draw the line after distribution factors. And then we say fixed end moment. Fixed end moment is minus 30. And positive 30. And minus 40. And zero. Right, and then we do balance one. How do we do it? Equal to minus type sum. 
open bracket. Select these two that you want to sum. Bracket over times by these distribution factors. When you times it, select this one, both two, and press F4 in your keyboard. If you can't, then you just type the dollar sign in front of them to lock them up. I think there is a minus sign here, not before. And enter four. Look at your figures. You have four there. Same thing here, equal to minus sum. Select these two times by distribution factors. Select these two and press F4 or you put you type the dollar sign. Six. Yep, everyone OK. You all got it. You put minus in front of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And the same thing for next one. Yeah. So four and six. You better color code, which is good. <laughs> uh, you need the uh, Excel skills. All right, four and six. And then same thing here. Equal to minus sum this one times by this distribution factor, lock them up using this two minus sum these numbers times by distribution factors, dollar sign, and that's it. Balance one. All right, after doing balance one, we draw the line, I believe. Yep, we draw the line. We draw the horizontal line after balance one. Right. Then we do uh, carry over one. If you can't fit it, just put the your cursor here and double click it. It will just automatically expand the the columns. Now the carry over, you put equal to sign in the first one. At the B, select this four, and I think you have 0 0.5 here carry over. So times by 0 0.5. Select this cell four one times by 0 0.5. Press enter. Same thing here, equal to press this one. I think here you have a carry over 0.5. Enter. You just do once and you just copy this one. Control C, Control V. But I think we have a something different here because here you need to put the. I think don't worry about it because here we have a different one. So just delete that. So you do equal to this one times 0 0.5, but this one times zero. That's what we done, right? So this one, first one across 0.5. Second one across 0.5. This one across 0.5. This one across times by zero. Right, you done once only. And then the magic happens in the Excel. Yeah, we need to balance, but why don't we take the advantage of we already done the balance? That's the 
that's the that's the computer we done once and we repeat it so the excel can repeat for us that what you do you select these two balance and carry over this first one you done once and because the rest is the repetitions that you don't want then you can find this little you go come here there is a little triangles you just hop over here and you can see plus sign once done in the plus sign and then you drag it and that will do it the job for you it can do it hundreds for you in a second right that's what we got it right is it the same two zero zero Two zero zero and after zero zero, but we always stop at at the balance. So just let's make it one more balance, okay? And then we sum all the moments. How do we sum? Equal to sum bracket. Select all the one from here to here. Enter. Equal to some moments here 34 to some of the moments here minus 34 and equal to some that's what your hand calculation should give you Now, this example does not give us a lot of advantage for Excel. So what I suggest, I think we done in the lecture, but I think I quickly do it for you. What I suggest, let's do this one by Excel in five minutes, OK? Because these first examples in this one, it will not give you a lot of advantage. So if you want to practice one more with me, we can do these examples. Uh, that is in our lectures. I think we done it yesterday. But uh, if you want to practice here with me, uh, we can one more practice and then we can go on that next examples because this one don't give you too much um, too much too much too much advantage so let's do the same thing uh, let me copy this one let me go one more seat here and put it here All right, first thing first, you write members. You have member AB, leave the gap, member BA, member BC, leave the gap, C, B, C, D, and leave the gap, and D, C. Then you write distribution factors uh, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0. And put these distribution factors And I think after distribution factors, we draw a line. You can refer the our last examples in this sheet. If you don't uh, remember distribution factors, I encourage you to save this Excel file with you and leave it with you. If you forget how to do it, you have a copy in your systems. Save this one, use it in your USB or somewhere, keep it storage. So if you if you want to refer back, you can go and check it. Distribution factors done, then you do the fix and moments.
moments. First one is zero. BA is zero. Minus 240. T240. Minus 250. And 250. You can stop me if you if you are not following or if you have any questions. So that is the last question. If you if you think that something is not working. All right. Once you've done the fix and moments. Oh, All right, so balance one. I think you come back here, you say some, and you select these two. Bracket over times by distribution factors and press F4, or you can just um, fix up here. It's 120 minus sign sum times by distribution factors. Lock them up at 120, 120. Uh, here equal minus sum uh, these two times by this distribution factors. We need to lock because we're going to multiply this many times and equal to minus sum times by distribution factors. And equal to minus sum this distribution factors. We like to log this and equal to minus sum distribution factor. And then after balance, I think we draw the line. So let's put this line here. And then we do carry over. You just come here and just expand. And the carry over would be this times 0.5 because these are all fixed supports we can do the copy paste this times 0.5 so we will just take this one control c control v control v make sure when you do it make sure it's 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 picking the correct value just just click on this one and make sure it just pick up the correct um, Correct values. Just uh, the last time we done it, exactly the same. And you do once. You do once, meaning once you done this one, you just drag it until you get smaller numbers. How much smalls you're going to get? You need to check the errors. Okay. 
again. Oh, sorry. Just drag it. Yep. How much you going to do it? I think you just need to check the error. How do you going to check the error? You can sum this one up. I think the carry over that here. You need to sum this carry over. So let's say equal to sum. Uh, this carry over. Divided by. Sum. These fix and moments. Times by 100. Yep, it's less than one. It's pretty much good. You need to check it here as well. Is equal to sum. This one divided by sum. Oops, sorry. A hundred for the percentage. Both are less than one percentage. We can stop. OK, so you can do it and, and then finally you need to do this sum. Is equal to sum. And that's your up to fix and moments. That's your final answers. Is equal to sum. Is equal to sum. Is equal to sum. All right, so you do you can do this one if you done the hand calculation for your assignments. You do this one to verify your your work. Do not please please do not do this one first and copy paste that. It will just um, stop your learnings. So that's the overall message. Ask me if you have any questions. The next one is just going to be repetitions. All good then. Uh, Let's move on to the next questions. Next question is here. All right. So what's oh. it's not showing, not changing. We are back, but Solve technical issue. Now, we, what we need to do is determining the moment at the support 
P and C of the pin, so on in the figure, then calculate the reaction at the support and draw SFP and BMB and assume the support A, B, and C, B and C are roller, B and C and A is P. So, the figures look like here that A is pin, B is roller, C is roller. Let's remove this overhang part. And instead of overhang, I can write 1200 newtons times by these two meters. So 24 newton, 2400 newton meters. UDL load, newton per meters, 2.5 meters, and that's it, right? Then same styles, uh, stiffness, two equations. Stiffness of AB, three EI on L, three EI is same. Length is two point five, so three on two point five, we get one point two EI. Stiffness of BC equal to uh, the uh, far end is pin or rollers. 3 EI and this is 2.5 meters, 2.5, 1.2 EI. Both are equally strong, right? Same length, same EI, stiffness is same. All right, now distribution factors for AB. A is pin, so distribution factor is one because A is pin support. Distribution factor for BA, KBA on KBA plus KBC. 1.2 EI on 1.2 EI plus 1.2 EI. 1.2 on 2.4.5. Distribution factor for BC, KBC on KBA plus KBC is equal to, I hope it is not too fast because we done this one. I can stop here. We done the stiffness first. And now we are working on distribution factors. And we done AB, BA, BC, and CB. Because C is roller, right? So this is all. Pin roller distribution factor is one. Uh, internal supports distribution factor should add up one, and um, and the fixed support distribution factor is zero. Right? Stiffness two equation four EI over L three EI over L, and uh, uh, three EI use when you have a when you have a roller or pin four EI when your far end is fixed. Raise your hand if you are not in the positions to apply the stiffness equations and distribution equation. I can go in details. Once the distribution factor done, we have a table to use the fix and moments. Fixed and moments of AB equal to I think internal supports are fixed. So we have a internal support fix. This one is pin. And that is A, B. And then we have fix and moments of
fix then moments of ba i think ba ab is zero fix then moments of ba equal to uh, clockwise wl square on 8 you can look at the this is 3200 and the length is 2.5 meters 2.5 square over 8 you get fix and moment of 2500 newton meters we have a table look at the table in that tables you can find by p b is internal support fix we don't touch the uh, end supports okay so we find the fix and moments and you know why we find the fix and moments right because displacement method does not like the load coming on to this on to this member it likes when those loads the moments at the joints and then we distribute those joints uh, distribute those moments right after this we build the tables then we want to fix and moment of form uh fix and moment for b to c let me explain it b c 24 newton millimeters oh yep yeah what was my questions when you have internal load displacement matter does not like it so it doesn't like it exactly on the pain but it doesn't mind if it's on the joint i told you we need the joints what we done here this is on the joint this is on the joint this is on the joint so here we see this lesson matters this is what i want okay and you give me that one so you don't need to worry about it here it says mm, you are putting the load on the beam i don't like it what you need to do it that i need equivalent load that should be sitting in the joints so the displacement method is work like this always so so what what scenario we have right now we have first scenario is this one 2.5 meters 2.5 meters and we have a udl load of 3200 newton per millimeters and we have 24 newton millimeters that is the first this is the first scenario then displacement matters for this to make the displacement matter happy what we done 2.5 meters 0.5 meters 2400 newton millimeters and um, look at the figure first and figure second to make the displacement matters happy i remove 3200 newton per millimeters instead of 32 i put 25 newton millimeters now displacement matters very happy here you don't have any internal loading you don't have any internal loading all loading is at the joints so we first thing first we say you happy now we have a, we come up across with problem the problem is we have unbalanced moment just look at this one here did all this joint b is unbalanced because joint b should be some of the moment at joint b should be zero you know but there is an extra moment 2500 newton millimeters then joint b is connected by two members so it should be cause how it goes distribution factors right so this is how the problem right now we have and now we going to use the tables to distribute if you don't want to use tables you want in the figures you can do it if you are smart you just do this 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 keep writing the table is just for to teach to simplify it's not the table is not part of the methods it's just for us to 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 structure it and frame it all right now let's draw up the table as you know first we write joints and from the joints we draw up the line and then we write members ab ba bc cb then we write distribution factors 
distribution factors are one, one, and point five, and point five. Then here we have a joint moments. You can look at the original one. Joint moments. That's what we need to start with. When you have a concentric moments, that's your starting points. Okay. So instead of fixed and moments, we write M joint. And that M joint is sitting at CB 2400. There is a zero joint moment, zero joint moment, zero joint moment here at the start. And then we do carry over first one. So that would be zero, zero. This will go zero. This will become 1200 because all internal supports are fixed. So joint B is fixed. And then we're going to write the fix and moments. The fix and moments are Zero, twenty-five hundred, zero, zero. Right, because we have a uh, fixed and moment for B a twenty-five hundred. Now we have unbalanced moments of about uh, twenty-seven hundred. Right, you can look at that one. So to do that one, we need to make it minus 2700, then minus 2700 times by 0.5. You get Sorry, 3700 here. That is 3700 positive. Then we make it minus 3700. And then minus 3700 times by 0.5. It's give you 1850. So you have balance. 1 minus 1850 minus 1850. Zero zero, and then you do carry over two. This will get zero. This will get zero because carry over here is zero. Zero. We don't stop at carry over. We do one more balance two. Zero 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 zero, and then we do sum zero twenty five hundred. Take away 1850. You get 650, get minus 650, and you get zero. Right? Oh, by the way, this is 2400. We have concentric moment. Any questions? After this, the, you can do the statics. You know the statics, how to do the statics, right? You put the end moments, or do you want me to show it? The statics. You okay? All? You know, you just take this. Um, you can take this part here, uh, A and B. This goes here. There is a zero moment here, and uh, clockwise 650 moments. And then you have three, two, zero, zero. Three, two, zero, zero Newton per millimeters, 2.5 meter, reaction eight, reaction B left side. and you do statics, you can find those reaction supports, right? Once you find the end moments, you you are on your way. On your way, meaning that 
you have done those equilibriums. Right. I think this is just a repetition, but for the completeness, we have half an hour. If students want, I can I can show you the next one, which is the frame one. How to solve the frame one. Everyone who has a request to do the frame one. Okay. I'll watch it later. Yeah, that's OK. Yeah. Any request for frame? No, all good. Rana. The last one. Yeah. Yes, OK, let's go. All right. So the frame is not a difference from the from the what we call the beam. We the, the recipe is same. As the just a different flavor. Now. Stiffness first. Uh, a B uh, moment and the member frame with the stiffness E I each member in the assume that support A D and E are pin. So A D all are pin. OK, so. We have this member. A B. Which is A is pin. And this one is fixed A B. Right for that case stiffness K A B is equal to 3 EI over L. And EI is 0 0.8. Length is 2. So we got 1.2 EI. Stiffness for PD. B is fixed. Oops. D is pin. For that case, K B D is equal to 3 E I on L. So we have 3.6. On the length of. This one would be 4. So you get 0.45 E I. Stiffness of K C E. Now let's do the C E. C is fixed. C is fixed 4 meters. E is win. So 3 EI on L. 3 EI is EI. Length is 4. So you got 0.75 EI. Stiffness of K, B, C. Because both are fixed now. So we can use. So B, C is fixed. So 4 EI on L, 4 EI is 0.8 EI, length is 6 meters, equal to 0 0.53 EI. Right? Yes, please. Um, this question, I didn't put black I just wanted to know how you do the table, which is a to be the slide with different statistics. Right. Yeah, because you have a joint B, so joint B has a three members. So in the in the when you draw the line, joint B, you draw one member here, one member here, and one member here. So instead of drawing just one line, you draw two lines because there are three members under the joint B. And then procedures are same. Balance carry over, balance carry over. Others has only one member or two members. You you are dealing with two members so far. You have two members. You draw when you draw the line. When you have drawn like in the previous one, you have let's say B, C and C, B or something like that. Here joint B has a three members. All other joints has a two or one members. Right. so when you have joint, when you have joint has a joint B, A. Joint B, D and joint BC. Like you have three members, then you write distribution factor for each member. You write the fix and moment for each member. And you balance it out 
and you do carry over. No, you do carry over for middle members. No, middle members because what is happening in the carry over BD. So you just need to think. So if you have a moment at D, how much would be carry over at D? That would be zero to the D. You can do it, this one. You can look at the tables and then if you have a DB, somewhere here DB, because if you have joint D and you have DB, from BD to DB is zero. Because BD and DB are same. How do you carry over here? Joint B, let's say you have a moment at joint B. Right? In that moment, how much moment will gonna go here? That would be the moment in DB. That would be zero because this is pin. Carry over is zero here. You see what I mean? So whatever the moment for BD that will be here, that will become zero in the next line for db and for bc you have a moment bc and this is fixed so carry over 0.5 if you go here that would be 0.5 from c to b it would be 0.5 from b to a zero from a to b 0.5 so you need to look at the table Let's say you have moment at BA, look at the figure. BA, where it goes? If you have moment at BA, it will goes to A. And A is pin, so it becomes zero. And that will be AB. Do you understand? Do you want me to show? Is it okay? okay. Oh, okay. That's okay, <laughs> because you are only, only one request. Any students has a request or anything? Because it will be complex and it will be boring and dry. And keep talking for one and a half hour. I'm happy to do it if it is add the value, but it will not going to add any value. And believe me, if you look at me for 100 times, it will not going to make any difference unless you do it particular that assignment questions. Then it will make a difference. All right, any questions? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, can you just go for on this one and say that first topic and what is this one? First three are good. Yeah, we need this this one just to just so what happens here? Let 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 just think this one. So what is what is happening here at twenty? Twenty cannot go in X. You agree with me? Twenty cannot go in the Y. Do you agree with me? Yes. That's what I, this one. And if you allow notation, okay. If you go back here and we check it, the the notation. So first X fixed, which is cut. Second Y is fixed. Which is this one fixed? Z fixed. Right? Rotation is fixed. We, we don't watch the rotation about X. No, we don't worry about the rotation about X. We just worry about rotation. Z. So I think it will be fine. Yeah, we just want to see the displacement. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you click on that one, or one member. And then you come back here. Thank you. Thank you very See much. You. See you. Yeah. First, first, I think first you need to enter. First you enter something. You know, first, first you put, first you put universal beam or something. Yeah. Just put any dummy one. Yeah. Then we change that to is going to make this easier. Sixteen to that. Ah no. If it's the polar moment of intersection, doesn't matter. Yes, because you they will put the same one, but now you need to this sixteen hundred, this is sixteen hundred, but you don't need to make a change. You make the changes where this you want it to. Yeah. From that side, then yeah, because that then you won't have that X one. You need to place okay, I believe. Otherwise, it will not be the same. I'm not sure. 
So they change. Change. They, they change all to this this particular things. Hmm. You want to uh, So what you? Where you want to find this one? Then we sixteen hundred. Okay. Can I can I drive it? Okay. So here I'm not sure this one. First one I'm coming, but two things I can try. So let's put this one sixteen hundred, and we have. Okay, and there are majority of 1600. Three of them are 1600. That's good. Now, what we do, now we have to change this. Have we changed this? I'm not sure it's going to work or not. Even before you have going, now let's make it eight plus long. In that way, we have 1800. This works. Okay, so we can make it all in the magazine. You want to transform. That's the problem. That's what you are doing. I didn't have to do it. Excellent. You need to change the name. I'm trying to change the name. Let's do it again. So you know. Uh -huh. The video is on the first one. You can have an M1. That's the one. So that's what it is. Let's make this yeah. one. And then you first have 1600. You will be switching that. That's what you said. It's easier. It's Wait, is it real? Is it? So what happens is, at real legend, it's not going to look like the actual system. Yeah, they, 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 now this one would be 1800, 1800. Let's put second one here, 18. This one. I can't say, you know what it is, 1800. And what was your? 1800. Don't put it like what I'm thinking. It's 18. Yeah. No, it will stay. Right. So you need to change the text and name, or these two names, and that will be the job needed. And, yeah. and then when you come back here, and if you find that, let's say this is similar, I'm not sure how to recall. So, yeah, here, yeah. if you go up this T button, then you just click on 1600, then it will go to If you click here, that is 1600. If you click here, that is 1600. If you click on here, that is 1800. You make sense? Yeah. And then um, after that, how do I find the in your static analysis, and then and then you go and then you have displacements, and if you have a text report, you know that will show the displacements, and then in the output it will show you the text report. So you don't know what what do you mean by text report? You have not done it. I think in the very first week we done it, but I think I can show you if you if you run the analysis, then I will show you. And you you have two ways to show. I think in my email when I send all the students, you see my text before that. Have you checked the same on the on the LMS? There's some students uh, saying that okay, how to write the comments? So I have put the examples in that one. I have put the reports. Yeah, but if you run it and then call it, uh, we will we will check it the displacements. Okay. What is the displacement? Right, let me fix up and close this one. Yes, please. Just just give me a minute because they are not relevant to this workshop. So let me close. Thanks um, uh, for the students online joining this one. Um, 
uh, we are finishing workshop here. Thank you. Stop recording.